if you're using an iPhone, you can get your data that Apple keeps about you. You can get a record of it. And if you were to do that, you would see that they have all kinds of information on you, what podcasts you listen to, how often you listen, what at what point you tend to stop or pause, the apps that you're using, some of your website searches, your payment methods, your location. And the location is huge uh, because what you're doing is you're, you're giving constant access uh, of your location to a company like Google or Apple. In the case of Google, there was a, there's all kinds of examples. There was one gentleman who was, there's one guy who was riding a bike and he happened to ride a bike a couple of times past a crime zone. And what happened was the police, as they typically do, because they know this is a tool, they demanded, they had a court order for Google to give over the geolocation data of all the phones in the area. And his was in there and it looked very suspicious and he had to, he lost a lot of money defending himself. So you're giving these companies, especially if you have a Google account with your real name or your real IP address that can connect to you pretty, pretty quickly. 